Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very cool video as we're here to talk about all the various different Meta Quest 3, Meta Quest 3, excuse me, accessories which have been, you know, unraveling, which will be available that people can start purchasing now, even though, of course, you won't be able to use them, but you could order them so that, you know, they arrive at the same time as you pre-order your Meta Quest 3 as well. So um, some of these, of course, I will be, and I've already started to reach out to manufacturers that I actually have been working with, for example, in VR, VR Cover are just two of the names that I've been working with before. VR Dash Wave Dot Store for lens prescription adapters. They have already said that they will also provide prescription adapters for people who wear glasses. So do use the VR Essentials promo code, which is VR Essentials, to get a 5% discount for that. And then also, once the other manufacturers will send me there are various different accessories. I will try them out just to make sure they're good, they're good enough or they're okay and recommendable for you to actually purchase because of course I will not recommend you crap or stuff that breaks very easily. It's really that simple. And also there is a video I posted three years ago about all of this as to some of the strategies that uh, Meta are employing um, now to personalize your Meta Quest 3. So just, let's just take a look at this. Let's go to the uh, Amazon uh, website as there are of course other sources where you can purchase accessories and do leave some comments below let me know um, you know what you've seen that really twinkled your eyes so that we can spark the conversation in the comments below. So if you go to the Amazon you'll see that for example MetaQuest 3 facial interface is also available in different colors so there is the blue one here um, and then there's also a red one here and I believe there's also a yellow if I'm not wrong or there's another color and uh, if we just change again, go back to the camera. So no doubt there'll be more available, more colors available as we go along. And also third party manufacturers will probably come up with new designs and all these kind of different things. And let me just show you the video that I did about three years ago. So let me just change to that YouTube video. So do follow me on Twitter, everybody, uh, which is which I put there, let's use Kate XR. So you can see here, so uh, take a look, three years ago, I published a video comparing Apple's VR product strategy and how they would market Oculus products. So if we just click on the video itself, and then you'll see that basically what I talk about is how Apple would have marketed the Oculus Quest 1 product back then. And I did mention that one of the things that they should do is actually, and, and because you know it's really worked well for Apple, is to personalize the Quest, to provide different colors. So I did call this one three years ago because now, of course, that is exactly what the Quest are doing. They're taking a leaf from the Apple page. Of course, Apple, when they come out, are undoubtedly going to be, if we just go back to the camera to me, Undoubtedly, what Apple will do is they're going to personalize, you know, the strap, not just the colors, but they most probably might personalize also the, the fabric, you know, it could be leather, it could be different patterns, could be just like the Apple Watch, uh, Apple strap. In fact, go and watch this video. It, it really talks about how potentially Apple would go about it. So I think it's a pretty spot on kind of, you know, uh, uh, it just creative ideas, right? Just a creative video. It wasn't based on fact or anything. I mean, the video was based on facts as to how Apple actually market the previous products. But, you know, then we try to come up with a way as to how they potentially would have um, promoted, you know, VR products. So if we look at other um, accessories now, we just go back to Amazon. So other accessories which seem to be available are the Epic Sino VR silicon face pad cover for Quest 3. So this would be a silicon version of the actual, um, you know, uh, cloth version or, or fabric version, I guess. Um, so again, I can't give you guys any, you know, uh, I can't recommend you to buy them or not. I'm just saying that this seems to be something that is uh, surfacing. Uh, also, the other thing that surfacing are controller grips, which I think are going to be very useful, especially when you want to throw bombs or all these kind of different things in Contractors or Population One or you know Half-Life Felix, all these kind of different games. It's like it's nice to actually have some straps. I have to say, so uh, this is something I'm looking forward to trying out as well. And then of course, uh, there's also a three-in-one accessory for MetaQuest Three Comfort Strap Magnetic Battery Dock and Counterbalance. So. Uh, I'm not quite sure again, you know, if these are recommended or not recommended, but it says Meta Quest 3 even though the picture is a Quest 2. So I don't know whether it means it's, you know, it will work for the Quest 3 or not. Uh, do be aware, you know, do be careful, side a caution in these videos that I do for you guys, that of course, if you're going to buy any accessories, make sure it does have the Quest 3 picture. Even if it says Quest 3 in the description, you know, make sure it has the Quest 3 picture as well, just to make sure that all the fittings and everything does work for your Quest 
3 and it's not meant for Quest 2 because apparently there are some differences in the mounts, especially for the head straps. So it may not be compatible anymore, just FYI. So other accessories is the, again, Epic Sino VR shell cover to protect the shell itself. So this seems to be something that could be pretty useful, especially if you're going to drop your Quest 3. Um, again, something, you know, and then also here there's a lens protector. So if you're going to be packing up your headset then you could protect the lenses as well this is something that is quite useful especially for those who are looking to travel quite often um, then definitely you know having this might actually help you especially if you're looking to sell your quest 3 two three years down the line when the quest 4 comes out or you know other vr headsets come out and you just want to sell it or you just want to sell it because you want to sell it um, then you know there won't be any scratches or anything like that so the value of your quest uh, will be as high as possible of course cases are going to be definitely something on the horizon so having a good case will also be something that you know will be quite important uh, there are a few cases in fact um, that perhaps are available so there's one here i saw from casematics which looks pretty cool i have to say um, but again, if you have a Quest 2, you may not need to purchase another case, just FYI. So do try the case that you have already. Again, you don't want to spend money for nothing, you know, just for the sake of spending money. If you can recycle some stuff, then of course that would be awesome. Uh, and also on this picture, I get to see that there's actually a fabric strap here. So I guess this is the gray, the normal gray version of the strap. Uh, I imagine the, the, the one that will actually be coming with the Quest uh, itself. Uh, it's a shame that we can't choose to actually purchase the Quest on Amazon in different colors uh, without having to pay the extra $50, to be very, very honest with you. Uh, and then, of course, the other, um, the other accessory that I'm really looking forward to uh, purchase is going to be a Oculus Link cable, right? So MetaQuest 3, uh, let me just type uh, Link cable here. So let me just type Link, link cable. There we go. Um, so there is a Syntec link cable, 26 feet. Wow, that's pretty, that's a lot. Uh, for Oculus, Quest, it says Quest 3, Quest 2 Pro, Pico 4. So again, I'm not quite sure if they work. Guys, if you have a, uh, you know, an Oculus link cable already that works really well for you, please leave comments below. Let me know because I'd really love to know what cable you're using, guys. I personally wouldn't have, I would have to actually purchase a new cable again as my previous cable busted. Um, so it'd be great to know what cable you guys are using. What do you guys recommend? What kind of cable? What kind of wattage? Uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. It would be really, really good to know. So do leave a comment below and let the community know. That would be super, super awesome. So there you go, guys. These are some of the accessories I just wanted to share with you that will be available, already starting to become available. What accessories are you looking to purchase? Have you already pre-ordered your MetaQuest 3 and the accessories with it? If so, leave a comment below. Let the community know what you're looking to purchase. If not, what do you already have that you're looking to recycle? Are you looking to create a Frankenstein again with the HTC thing? Did you make it work with your Quest 2? And do you think you'll be able to make it work with your Quest 3? That'd be very interesting to see. But yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you get notified of all the other cool videos we'll be uploading to the channel, of course. And do go and check out the video yesterday if you're a Pimax user, as I spoke about that. And uh, yeah, until next time, smash the like so more people get to join the VR Essentials YouTube community as well, of course. Lovely to spend some time with you. Hope you had a lovely Sunday. I'll talk to you very soon. Until next time, bye for now, guys. Bye-bye-bye.